everyone. First of all, I would like to congratulate all those students who have qualified to give JA advanced exam. Well done, guys. So now around only one week is left. So this crucial time demands a very efficient revision. And with a well-organized strategy, it can be tackled. So for chemistry, I would be guiding you with some tips. Starting from inorganic chemistry, so this section is considered as the one which requires maximum cramming of concepts. But mind you, in your exam, they will make sure to check your conceptual knowledge. For example, in atomic structure, the topic which requires the maximum conceptual understanding, it is quantum mechanical model of an atom. So high probability that a question would be asked from it. Now talking about other chapters like metallurgy. So this is often neglected by students, but don't do that. At least go through the names of some ores and their extraction procedures. And as we know that so many ores are there, so just stick to the ones which are given in NCRT and among them specially sulphide ores. Now coming to two very important chapters of inorganic chemistry, chemical bonding and coordination compounds. So from chemical bonding, concept of overlapping of orbitals, that's very important. Then we have valence bond theory, that's also very crucial. Now in coordination compounds, definitely a question would be asked from isomerism of coordination compounds. And then you should also learn how to calculate hybridization for them. That's also very important. Lastly, for the section, do a good qualitative analysis of S, P, D and F block elements. And also uh, remember to memorize some concepts from salt analysis. That would be all. Now moving forward to physical chemistry. So this section would be relatively tough and chapters like thermodynamics, chemical equilibrium and electrochemistry, they will make sure to account for it. So practice as many numericals as possible from them. Then another significant chapter from this section is redox reactions. So at least memorize some common redox reactions that will be also very helpful. Then we have two other important chapters from this section, solid state and uh, solutions. So from solid state, three important topics they are first location of voids second concept of radius ratio and last the structure of some important ionic compounds that would be all then solutions make sure to revise colligative properties that's very important now coming to the last section organic chemistry so in this section definitely your command over stereochemistry would be checked so practice questions from this this topic then uh, do good functional group analysis also try to relate all the reactions mentioned in different chapters with each other that would also be very helpful so that's all uh, lastly i would like to say that 30 percent of the questions in each subject can be easily done so make sure to attempt those first and be confident efficient and definitely you will get maximum marks according to your potential